Hi everybody, this is Lori Wetzel and I'm coming to you with the next installment of Tech Tip Tuesdays. And the Web 2.0 tool for today is called Bubble Us. B-U-B-B-L dot U-S. And Bubble Us is a Web 2.0 tool that is used for brainstorming or mind mapping. Bubble Us is a free service and if you have an email address and this qualifies for all of our staff members and currently all of our 7th through 12th grade students you are welcome to create a free account. This free account will limit you to three saved bubbles at a time. If you are working with younger students you do not have to create an account and if the students are able to finish their mind mapping within a certain period of time they can print their mind maps directly from this site or they could export them as pictures directly from this site so actually saving them isn't absolutely necessary I'm going to click off the tip of the day and I'm going to start brainstorming if you've ever used Inspiration or Kidspiration, the idea here is exactly the same. The nice thing is you don't have to have the software in order to do it. So I am going to start with my main idea bubble here. And you'll notice when I hover over it, I have the ability to change the color. I have the ability to change the size. And I could delete it if I decided I didn't want this here anymore. So I am going to do a sample mind map um, that highlights different web 2.0 tools. So what I'm first going to do is click on this item right here to create a new child. When I click on that, that's exactly what happens, and I am going to first of all list a few presentation tools that are available. So all I need to do now is create another new child off of my presentation area, and Prezi is one example of a presentation tool. I'm going to create one more child uh, for a website called VoiceThread and that's one that I'll probably highlight in a future tech tip. Though there's lots of other Web 2.0 presentation school tools, I'm going to move on to another category. So I'm going to add a new child. It automatically is going to move things over and I'm going to focus now on organizational tools. And off of this organizational tools, um, Digo is certainly one of them, one that was highlighted last week. And there is an additional tool called Doodle. And that again is something that I may share with you at another time. I'm going to add one more child and again it's just moving them over for me and this time it'll be audio web 2.0 tools and all I have to do is create the new child bubble again Vocaroo is certainly one of those audio tools that I've shared with you I'm gonna create an additional child for Vokey Vokey is a website where you can create your own avatar and let's just add one more um, Blabberize is a fun one so as you can see, there's lots of Web 2.0 tools. This is only skimming the very, very surface. Now, if this is your students in your classroom and they are creating a mind map for something that they're doing for your class, they have a couple of options. If they have an account created, they can save it. And they can actually save it as a new sheet, and you are limited to three sheets with a free account. It is a social website. They can actually add contacts and they can share it with their contacts and all they can all they have to do is find out what that person's username is in Bubble Us in order to work collaborati collaboratively on one of these mind maps. You also have the ability to print, and it will print um, either landscape or portrait, whichever way you choose and you have the ability to export it. You can export it as an image so it could be incorporated into a PowerPoint file for instance or any other sort of application. You also have the ability to export it in HTML and it will automatically change it into an outline format which is kind of a nice feature. So I hope you see a use for this tool with your students. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through email or by the phone. Have a great day.